Thank you for joining us in this class. Here we want to solve this problem. And if you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Now from here, let's divide true by 4 raised to the power x. And this becomes 2 raised to the power x over 4 raised to the power x plus 4 raised to the power x over 4 raised to the power x equals to 1 over 4 raised to the power x. And here now, 4 raised to the power x, we can see each other here, and we have 1 left. And we can write this as 2 over 4 all raised to the power x, applying laws of indices. Since they have the same power, we can bring the two number under the power. Then we have plus 1 left here. Then equals to also here we can write as 1 over 4 all raised to the power x because 1 raised to the power x will still be 1. And from there, we can reduce what we have inside this bracket here. Since 2 can go now, we have 1 over 2 left. Then raised to the power x plus 1 equals to here as well. We can express 4 to base 2 and write 2 raised to the power 2. So, which in the same way, we can also write 1 as 1 raised to the power 2. So, that means we can say we have 1 over 2 here. Then raised to power 2, which will give us 1 over 4 back. Then all raised to power x now. We have raised to power x. And from there, we can interchange this power so that we have 1 over 2 raised to power x here as well. When we interchange this power, we have not violated any rule there. We have 1 over x now. 1 over 2 rather, raised to power x plus 1 equals to 1 over 2 raised to power x as well, then all raised to power 2 now. So we have just, you know, switched this power here since they multiply. Then from there, we can say let u be equals to 1 over 2 raised to power x. And this equation will then become, so we then have u, plus 1 equals to u squared. So we have replaced that with u. Then when we use this to form a quadratic equation, let's take everything here to that side. We have u squared now. Then minus u minus 1 equals to 0. So we have formed a quadratic equation with this. And from there, we can use the quadratic formula to solve this. When we apply the quadratic formula, we have u will now be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. And in that case, for this particular one, we have our a to be equal to 1, our b to be minus 1, that's coefficient of u, and our c to be minus 1 as well. We have the constant. So when we substitute, we then have u will now be equal to minus minus 1, that's minus b, plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared, then minus 4 a, 1 times c minus 1, then all over 2 a, 2 times 1. Then when we simplify this, we have u to be equal to 1 now, minus times minus, that's 1, then plus or minus, Square root of minus 1 square is 1, then minus 4 times minus 1, that's plus 4, all over 2 times 1, that's 2. And when we solve that further now, we can see that we have u will now be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5, then over 2. So we have two solutions here. One is plus, one is minus. So we have u now giving us u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or we have u to be equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 of course since our u is a number that is positive we say our u is represented as 1 over x 1 over 2 raised to the power x so this number is expected to be positive and this is negative so this side will not be a solution then 
we work with this now saying that u equals to 1 over 2 raised to power x that means we have 1 over 2 raised to power x now to be equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and here we can solve for our x changing from index 1 to logarithm form that means x will now be equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 base 1 over 2 so that's the relationship between index indices and logarithm we can change from indices to logarithm form and we have here that x will now be equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then divided by log 1 over 2 when we separate that we have that we can have that and also we can rewrite it and say this will now give us so from there this will give us log this will be x equals to log we can separate what we have of log 1 plus root 5 then minus log 2 because division here will give us minus that's law of logarithm then also what we have down here we can separate it and say we have log 1 minus log 2 so this is the value of our x when we use calculator to solve this we get a numerical answer and when we put that answer back into the original equation given we discover we get an approximate no solution to that and we have come to the end of the class thank you for joining us don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now